In this tutorial, I will show how to run searches using Helium Scraper 3. I have this list of ISBN numbers. These are like serial numbers but for books. I will use these numbers to run searches on this site. If I run a search for an ISBN number on this site, it will give me a list of book prices, and the sites I can buy them from. The first thing I will do is create a new project, which I will call Books. Now I will right click the database category and select Create Table. I will call my table Input and add one column called ISBN. Then I'll go back to my list and copy these numbers and paste them into this table by selecting the first cell under the ISBN column. Then right click it and select Paste. Now I will double click the main global to edit it. The first action I will add is data input. This action represents the table I've just created. Every action below will run for each row in the table. Now I will right click this action and select output result. This will produce a variable called ISBN, which will receive the value of each number in the input table. Now I will add a browser load action that will load this site. Now I will add a new placeholder, then turn on selection mode and select the ISBN input box on the page. Then I will right click the placeholder and select create selector from samples. I will call this selector input box. Then I will add another placeholder and select the browser submit text action. This action will fill up the input box selected above with the text provided and submit the search. Instead of typing a literal text, I will select the ISBN variable. This will instruct Helium to use the content of the ISBN variable to fill up the input box and will repeat this for every number in the input table. Now I will turn off selection mode and run a manual search on the site, to get a sample of a page we're going to be extracting from. I will extract from each item in the New Books list on the left, which will produce many rows per page. But I also want to extract the ISBN number as a reference, which is the same on every list item. To prevent having repeated ISBN numbers on the output, I will extract to two separate tables, by using two separate extract actions. I will now add my top-level extract, which will run once per page. I will call my first member ISBN. And for the value, I will select the ISBN variable, which contains the current ISBN number. Now I will add another member, which I will call Prices. This is where I will place my child extract action, which will run for each list item in the New Books list. To do this, I need to add a selector that selects each item on the list. The easiest way to do this is to select one element inside the list, and press the Detect List button. Since it didn't recognize the list items that I need, I will try again by selecting two elements inside the list. I will do this by first clicking one item, and then clicking another item while holding the control key down. Now I will press the detect list button again, and this time it will recognize the list items I need. Now I will right click the placeholder and select create selector from samples. I will call this selector list item. Now I will add another placeholder and add a nested extract action. The first member will extract the bookseller. For the value, I will use a selector that selects the booksellers on the list, by selecting a couple of samples and then selecting Create Selector from Samples. I will call this selector Bookseller. We can see that elements on the other table were also selected but this won't be a problem because of the list item selector above. This selector only selects list items in the new books table. 
When the extraction runs, this will constrain the selectors below to elements that are inside these list items. Now I will select the book seller selector again. Note that it selects image elements. I will expand the selector preview by pressing this button. Note that the cells under the text column are empty. This is because these elements don't contain any text. But if we look at the HTML, we can see that they contain an attribute called title, which contains the text we need. To extract this attribute, I will add a placeholder under the book seller selector and select the gather attribute action. As the name of the attribute, I will type title in double quotes. Now I will add another member, which I will call price, and as the value, I will use a selector that selects the prices on the page. Again, even though all prices are selected, only prices on the left table will be extracted. Since I don't need to extract the dollar symbol, I will add a gather number action to extract the number only. Finally, I'll add another member called link, which will extract the link behind the price. So I will reuse the select price selector and then add a gather link action to extract the link behind the price. Now let's run this to see what we get. We can see on the off-screen browsers that separate browsers are running separate searches. This is because Helium will distribute the contents of the input table among different browsers. Two tables have been generated. The first one contains the ISBN numbers, and the second one contains all the data extracted from each page. We can quickly see all this data as a single table by right-clicking the main table set, and selecting Join Tables. This concludes our tutorial.